Hello everyone and welcome back! In the last lesson we saw a problem with component design. We saw that bubbling data and events up and down the presentational component tree is going to end up causing code repetition and also it won't work necessarily well with third-party components. Let's see a solution for this design problem. It's actually quite simple. We really don't need to inject services only at the top level component, so the container component of our route. The Angular dependency injection system allows us to inject services like the newsletter service deep into the component tree, so nothing prevents us from creating leaf components such as for example the newsletter component, we're going to open it here, nothing prevents us from making this a smart component instead of a presentational component. So there is nothing preventing us from injecting here the newsletter service. So that's what we did here and nothing prevents us from having logic here that calls the newsletter service directly, in this case subscribing to the newsletter. So with this new implementation of the service, we really wouldn't need neither the input nor the output, because the same way that we injected here the newsletter service, we can also inject here the user service directly. So if there is some component deeply nested in the component tree that needs access to some data that is centrally available, we don't need to pass it up and down the tree, we can inject the observable data service directly in the smart component that resides deep in the component tree and use it there. So we no longer need this input and we also don't really need this output here, so we can delete it. So let's have a look at how we could we use the observable data service if we go here to the newsletter template component. We can see that we really only need here a property which is the first name. So let's simply define it here for the moment, we are going to initialize it as a string and we are also going to implement on init because we should avoid any type of initialization logic in the constructor in general. So we are going to have here the method ng on init and on it we are going to use the user service. For the moment we are going to subscribe to it. Actually we are going to subscribe to the user dollar observable and here whenever we receive the user we are going to initialize the value of the first name property. So with this in place, let's go back here to the template. So we were calling here a subscribe to newsletter method. So let's refactor this method slightly. We are going to call it subscribe to newsletter. This is going to be the email field. We are going to pass in the value that we retrieve from the email field to the subscribe to newsletter service. And here we were clearing out the name of the field whenever we emitted here the new value. So we are going to clear the field only if the subscription was successful. So let's add this logic here. So as you can see our component is now starting to look a lot simpler and also if we go back to the course detail component we no longer have to pass in this here at the level of the course detail. We can remove this input property, we can remove the use of this output event that we were receiving, so we were bubbling up the event up the tree. This is no longer necessary. If we go back here to the course detail header component, we no longer need this input and this output, we no longer need this unsubscribe method that was only here to bubble the event from the level of the newsletter. And if we go back here to the course detail header, the newsletter no longer needs neither the input property nor the event. So this newsletter component really becomes a smart component instead of a presentational component. So in general we should not hesitate to inject smart components deep in the component tree if that makes the implementation of our program simpler. If we find ourselves in the situation where we are bubbling events up the component tree, this is a good indication that what we really need is a deeply nested smart component. There is only one problem, which is this solution, as it's currently implemented, it's not working. We are running into change detection issues. Let's find out what is the problem and most of all what the correct solution is in the next lesson.